Hello. Bye. Good morning, people. So we are off to the shop and to playing. start on some work. And no, also we're going to be doing the car, car and the signs me. today. I'm going to try and get all of it done. Ready for the relaunch. Relaunch. Attempt to anyway. Yeah. So that's the plan for today. Oh. And uh, Jensen brought his Lego. Ninjago! That's more. So that's what we are, will be doing. Um, Mummy good. is at a, um, a session. pop up shop. Um, pop -up yeah, she's so doing another one this morning. We've got Kobe. We've got Kobe in the back. Hello, Maxie. That's it. So we're off. No. See you Tomorrow. in a bit. Peace. Ninja Doe piece. We are here. Yep, so we are here. <sighs> Power um, Lloyd. Yeah. We're going to get the shop open. There's no one here, which is nice. No one waiting for us. So you can get on. Um, was, wasn't was sure if we were having a van dropped off today. Um, because somebody said so might power. be dropping it off. But... It's not here, so, so boom means we can crack on. That means I can play. Yo, Kobe. Here you go. We're here. Right, so I can't. Let's get a move on. What's up, people? So today, one of the things, one of my jobs that I'm doing, I'm covering this window and leaving a little bit of gap. There's some light to be able to come through with some vinyl. I need to clean this window and then add this vinyl going down the window like so. Ready for Jensen's Direct logo. So we can put Jay's logo. That's me. I don't know if you can see that coming. Come back to Just again, just, that's me. That's him. I've got to put his logo on there. So. We're going to have Jensen's Direct, I'm and then we're going to have the writing going down like this. Okay, so that's one of my jobs. I'm going to put this on a time lapse. Fingers crossed it all goes well. Bye. Okay guys, so part one's done. You can see I've left a gap either side, so we've got a bit of light to be able to come through from the other side. That's done, ready for the next bit to be continued. Not sure this will work. Ready to see this. Let's see the lines here. Yeah. That's where it's cut around the letters. See that? So then what we do is we take off and then weave this out, peel this off. Yes. And as this comes off, so I'm not going to do it all here. I'll then leave the letters cut out behind.
So, it's late. Saturday night. Well, quarter to seven. Jensen's gone home. Um, Lisa's gone home. Uh, she's up enough now. Um, she's done all she needs to do today. She's left me know, quite a few lists to do. So I shall be cracking on with that. Um, I just filmed a little bit of um, what's known as weeding, we weed out all the letters um, for printing onto some garments. So I've just done that, I did a time lapse on that. And uh, yeah, so I am going to be doing some work. I've still got this thing to finish, which well, I've changed the logo for, for Jensen's Directs. I've changed the Directs bit. Now put a different font on it to make it mm, just a little bit better. Some people might not like it, some people might. I think it looks okay. So we'll go with that for now. But I own a logo shop, a printing shop. So I can change it whenever I like. So I haven't taken anything off of the windows and the signs yet because it's been rain, 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 rain all day. But I have taken some of the stuff off of the swing signs, well Jensen has, when I say Jensen has, Jensen started to do it and then he cut his thumb because he's a donut. Um, but uh, not. don't think that we let him just run loose with knives and things like that. But Jensen obviously has been doing this for a few years now, so he now knows he's pretty good with um, all types of scissors and blades and things like that. Unfortunately, he just slipped. Easily done. We've all done it. Um, he's only got a little cut, but still, he's okay. Um, however, when we're filming a time lapse, whilst I was doing this, um, you'll see it on the video. Oh, I've got it over my head. Jensen's holding the vinyl. Now the reason he walked off was because this lost its thing as he touched it. I lost it and smacked him. Yeah, so you can't see on the time because it's too quick. But yeah, he um, as he was holding the vinyl up, he was moving around, not the press down. It shouldn't drop like that, but it wasn't quite on its latch probably. <laughs> and um, it smacked him. I thought it smacked him in the head, but he sucked it up like a pro and he just carried on. So he was all right. Yeah, so he's been in a bit of the wars today. He's got his thumb, he's banged his hand in his head today. But it's like being a kid. Being a kid that's got his own kind of company. He helps and does his bit to earn himself some money. So he earned himself some money today. Well, this is a bit of a pain in the bum. My computer's frozen. Damn. So I'm now waiting. It's just swirling. It's got the swirl mark. Which is a little bit frustrating. So it was a bit of a pain. So I can't print out the stuff for this. I can't print out anything else because it won't let me. There we go. Cutting it. It's cutting the black at the moment. So yes, it's cutting the black. Come on. With my tape measure, which is my, the one that I was saying the other day. Right, the other day I was, I, on one of my YouTube videos, I had this rigmarole, rigmarole, rigmarole? Dilemma, dilemma. A dilemma with my tape measure. And then I went on about how marvelous, cheap this little thing has been. Then today, so it still works now. Today, I've left it on the side. 
a certain little person, not naming any names, <coughs> Jensen, was playing with it and then left it on the floor like this. I was talking to a customer, I turned around and I trailed it and put kink in it. I actually made this go flat. The other, the other actually made this to squeeze in that way. things to do. It's getting late, I'm tired, and I still haven't finished this. <coughs> so that is my next place of call. The last pieces have just finished printing out. I've now got to weed them and get them on the wall. Squeezy, squeezy, squeegee. Um, well, let's call it a paddle because you're kind of paddling. Um, so, obviously, it's always good to work through the middle, work the way out. Um, obviously, I've got a big piece up here, which is here. This is, this is could be an issue because because it being a circle and oval, if you start here and that, you might bunch up and stuff like that. Or, you know, so. We shall get to this. So I've left quite a lot of application tape on it so I don't have to put any masking tape on it. Mainly because obviously Jensen uses a lot of my tapes. Um, so uh, but what I'm gonna do is now I'm happy it's in a good position. I'm going to make sure it's nice and secure at the top. ways you can do this. Lots of people have their own techniques and stuff. I kind of depends on the mood I'm in, the time of day it is, like it's late at night tonight. So I'll be doing it either splitting it here, folding down that, putting that piece on, or the other way around, or I'll tack it down there. I will lift the whole thing up um, because I'm confident I could probably do it in one hit to be honest. Um, so yeah, I think I'll do that. What I'll do actually, pull it up and make a hinge. So there we go, there's my hinge. So now I'm going to pull this back using this tight. Now I'm actually going to leave this on here and I'm going to pinch it like that. Now, it's right up in the air. I, you can work upwards, downwards, but I'm quite confident with it. Put a bit of tension in the middle, 
You see that? So we'll put a bit of tension in the middle so it keeps it tight. Like that, as you can see. So now that's pulling. If I pull this way, you see it's gone that way or that way. I'm pulling in the middle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work, it says. I'll work from here and work my way out. Slowly. Just to get it going. Go with that bit on it. And bring it down to a safe working distance. Keeping my paddle nice and flat. Or my application squeegee. And nice, firm, and consistent. Always try and go further past the point you're actually doing. stuck down and that's all nice. Um, so now I'm going to get rid of this application tape and then get the next piece to put on. Next piece is the hard bit, it's the red circle bit because there's actually I've got to make sure the gap is the same either side and it's really tricky. It's actually easier to do it by eye than it is trying to measure it. Pretty well. Peel off my masking tape. I need that now. And then I'm going to start from the top. I don't have to start from the top, but I'm going to start from the top. And then that gets in the way too much. Let me go to the other side. So, keeping it at about a 45 degree angle, and I'm just going to slowly pull it. Pull it down, just slowly, nice 40 degree angle, 45 degrees or so. Don't rush things, there's no race, don't just go and yank it. Because if you yank it, it, it probably won't damage the left rim, but it may, if one's not stuck down quite enough, it may lift it off, then damage it. Or you'll just pull this too hard in the wrong place and pull it out. So, and you're going to be doing lots of different pieces. So, take the time. I mean, look, I'm not putting a lot of, ten lot of tension on it. You can always put your hand on it if it gets to a point where you think, oh, I'm not happy about that letter. Work your way down. And you can hand. Now, at the paper tape, you can reuse. Um, I don't, personally, but people do you reuse it. It, obviously it depends. If I'm like for instance I've got a couple of little letters there, I could reuse that. The problem I have with reusing stuff is I don't it's fine if it's on a clean environment, clean surface and it's kept in a way because you can use it probably a good three times, maybe more. Um, but what you've got to remember is Every time you use this and every time contaminants are in the air, there's nothing you can do about a lot of contaminants. The last thing you need to be doing is then sticking any contaminants getting underneath the vinyl because then you've had it. Um, also, if you don't peel it off nicely enough and you've got like these little ripples and stuff in there, when you put your next up piece of material down that you're going to wrap the, this onto, you might have little crinkles in it. If you've got crinkle in it, then sometimes it can damage the vinyl. So, yes, it saves you money um, by not, you know, by reusing this. But I'd rather, much rather, waste a bit of application in the tape, whether it's this one, any other type of art, I would much rather throw it away and use a new piece because otherwise if you think of it this way this 
you can ruin it, you, you can pull out a new piece, cut it off and stick it on. If you ruin this, you've got to go back to the computer, reprint it, wait for it to print out, reweave the thing out, depend on the logo. And if it was something that was really complicated, well, think of your labour costs. If you've now paid someone to then, can you print me another one out? Print might be fine, print it out, that's quite quick. Then you get your lad or whoever to then sit there weaving it. If it was a really complicated bit of vinyl, a uh, bit of artwork, well, it could take you an hour. Well, that hour, say you're paying your member of staff £10 an hour or whatever the price is for that member of staff, sake of the equivalent of 50 p's worth maybe of application tape. It's just not worth it. If you can, don't. So I'm just going to quickly check this for any imperfections. Right, so last bit. So this is the font we've changed on here from from this to this because we were doing the other one we felt that this one this looked a bit better than the other one we'll see it's each two right so that's what we've gone with so all that's left to do now is to replace the letters, uh, that one, that one, and that one, and then that's done. Yay! One down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about ten more to go. Plus then all the road signs, the leaflets, the business cards, the, everything's got to be changed. Not so much with that, those business cards would be okay, I think. No, I'll change them. Um, but obviously the new company, which will be revealed soon, that has obviously got to have everything changed. I say it's a new company, it's not a new company. It's this company, Bespoke Designs, into the new one. You'll have to wait and see. Boosh! Well, my friends, it is, that clock says it's 10 past 11 at night. I have had enough. I am packing up. I am going home. So, hoping to be getting some really good videos coming in soon. Um, I'm planning on doing some really good stuff coming up. So I'm looking forward to doing some proper, decent, really good videos. Thanks for everybody that's watching and following. Keep subscribing. Peace.